Alright, today guys I'll be showing you how to jailbreak a MC and MB model of the second generation iPods. Uh, touch. I don't think there is a way to uh, jailbreak actual iPods. All I know is it's custom firmware. So, what you're gonna do is download the link. Go to the link in the description. Oh, it should have Green Poison, which is the way you can download, you can jailbreak both models of the second gen generation iPod Touch. Makes it very easy. And then when you download it, you, it's only gonna work on Windows XP. It's Windows Design for Windows 7. I don't know about Windows 8, it might work. Don't quote me on it. What you wanna do is have, I don't know if you want iTunes open, you might want it, but you need iTunes 11. 0.5.5 or this version. I'll, I'll link this version because it works for me. You want to have your iPod in DFU mode. If you don't already have it in. Um, I'm, I'm gonna unplug it so you can see the steps. So, all right, we're prepared for DFU mode. It's gonna tell you get ready, hold down, continue holding, and release the button. I'm gonna plug this in so we can get to it. And then when, you, when it's all ready, so you're gonna press jailbreak. Your iPod Touch should have a white screen. As I said, it should have a white screen by now. And then you're gonna be in something called a verbose mode. That's where you're gonna see all the code. I'm gonna say it looks really sick. Looks like you're actually programming it. You get a picture from my Instagram. You're gonna be in verbose mode for a little bit, then it's just say it's just say then it should pop you into the Apple logo. Basically, then it's gonna turn into like the so it's like a anime logo, not anime animated. So when we're still in verbose mode, while we're in verbose mode, it's gonna tell us you're gonna see like root file system all that. Just leave it be. Don't touch it. Like don't power it off. You're gonna mess your whole iPod up. And it's gonna pop to the Apple logo, and then it's gonna turn slowly to the Green Poison logo, as you can see right here. It's gonna turn to that. So don't be don't be scared or afraid. It's just gonna. Then it should boot to iOS, and this is where I should, once it boots to iOS. We're, you're not going to see the desktop, you're going to see the iPod like from my phone so you guys can get a better view. Also stay tuned for my next video. I'm going to show you how to add games to iOS 3, 4, and 6. I don't know if iOS 5 is maybe the same way as iOS 6. Don't quote me on that. All I know is the way for three, four, and six. As you can see, it is showing up here, and this is where we're gonna pause the record. Actually, we're gonna stop it here and then go to my phone. All right. While we're on here, you have to we're gonna log into my Wi-Fi for a second. Give me a second. Just let me just. You have to be connected for a while for this next part because you're gonna have this little button called loader. You're not gonna have Cydia, you're gonna have loader. And then you need to install Cydia. And if you don't want this app, you can when you're done installing Cydia, you can press options and delete loader. Which should we should be able to once this once it's done. It's gonna distract, it's gonna say success. You can see you can say remove loader that app, but I'm not gonna do that. Actually, hold on. There you go. Now it should respring. 
So I'll like this. Don't be scared. Don't don't be worried. This is normal. Not this. Not this part of my iPod though. This was uh, from a drop. But actually, no, that's just from it being repaired once by someone not knowing what they were doing. But it's okay. I don't mind it. So this is the green poison thing I was talking about. If you didn't see it already. Obsidia. So to initialize the file system. You will have to do a complete or essential update. The doesn't matter to you. You will have to do that though to run the scripts and everything. Oh, they call it tweaks, but I call I call them scripts. If you have been to my archive.org, um, I'm going to redo everything in there i'm gonna organize it so it's actually like because there is a bunch of ios 6 files and ios 3 and 4 folders i'm gonna make split that up so it's ios 4 and ios 3 so you don't actually have to guess on what it is so you can actually download games for the, the ios 6 5 4 and 3. that's the ones i have on there i i can't confirm that they're for ios 5 since i don't have an ios, iOS 5 device but I may basically have six four port I was six point one point three, I was six point one point six, three on iOS four point one point two is two iPods and an iPhone three you guys. And then my uh second generation iPod. Well first generation iPod on iOS three. And if I can I'll try to downgrade the uh older model of iPod to iOS three. If it's possible. All right, now we're in Cydia. Gonna download everything. As you can see, we're in old. We're in, in a old version of Cydia. Not too old, so it won't take forever to update. But once this is done, we should be able to update. And download all the packages that are needed. You go here. Everything that's going to be needed to run Cydia, the, this version of Cydia. And then when it's going to give us the option, we're going to update. There you go. It's going to say reloading data, and then it's going to, it should give us a little drop down menu as you would see with the, like you double tap the home button if you had the music thing set up how it showed music or if you had wi-fi nearby it's going to do one of those menus so it should be way easier so this is a re freshly restored one so because uh, this was jailbroken before i just wanted to share the method out and I'll show you how to do the MB model, MB only model for Red Snow, the Red Snow way. I want I want to show this way first because you can jailbreak both of both models with this one, MC and MB. Uh, the MB is the 2008 one. The MC is the 2009. If you you could probably see it. I don't know if you can. It would yeah. There technically there'd be different writing because two different. Actually, you can't see what year it is. All right, MC right there. Right there. MC model. All right, upgrade. Complete upgrade. We're going to go... Oh, never mind. I guess we're upgrading essential. Confirm. This is going to be way faster than the uh, second... Well, first generation iPod. I keep trying to say 2G, but I don't have one yet. I plan on buying one, but I mean, there's one that's like for not even eighty bucks for like because it's got one little broken part and the owner doesn't want to deal with it. Probably could do that. 
All right, time to be preparing the package install. I was just gonna respring. All right, it should be done after it says downloading packages. And I'm gonna show you, let me pull it up on my computer. It's gonna say reloading data and then it should respring. Actually, I think I know the link so we can get to that it's going to be different from the last video where we had to do the ios 3 repo this is going to be different this is where we're going to do a different link so if you you've already gone past this part and you put the link in don't because it's only going to work for ios 3 not ios 4.1 actually 4.2.1 all right this should respring soon let's just put that there just in case if it does Never mind. Um. All right. Once it respring's or crashes, I said I'm gonna say mine respring, even though it might have crashed. As you can see, it's gonna turn over. These things are a pain to charge with this on. I'm just gonna say, so you will have to charge it for even longer because it's gonna go here, do that, and then turn off, and then keep going but it's like 20 minutes maybe less to charge it to like full battery depending on like I'm, I'm 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 guessing you guys have like a more used up version mine mine had like last hours even my first generation last seven hours six hours i mean probably shouldn't be like that in 2021 but it is and i you know i'm fine with it I also have the red snow way to do it set up just in case I get my iPod, my uh, MB model back. My friend is lending it. I'm lending it to my friend. And hopefully they find it because they lost it. This is, this is the part that takes forever. Let's just get done. I'm not gonna, you guys can skip forward to when I get to the actual part because this may take a little while. There we go. In the video. There we go. I'm gonna do a complete upgrade off screen mainly because it's gonna take a while. But I'm gonna go to sources. Once it's done loading. Not that. Come on. Do edit. Okay. Come on. This is the pain part about this, is the loading speed, that's really it. Even when you're trying to load, like, get something, it's gonna take forever, no matter what. Not forever, but, like, like a few minutes. Let's see how this one takes. I'm gonna do the essentials, because that's all I want right now. You're gonna do edit, add... Cydia, Akimi, AI. Hopefully I put that in right. If not, I'll have to look at it. 
Looks like we did. Hopefully. It's updating the sources. I'm checking right now, so I have two hands. Yeah. And that's how you put it in. I don't you can either do the slash or not the slash, it's up to you. Say reloading data. Put this up here for now. Okay. Henry's getting tired. City, and then we should have the camera's repo. And then I'm gonna show you if you want to watch the next video that's gonna be out in a few days on how to get apps on here. You're gonna want to install App Sync for iOS 4.0. It's gonna cover iOS 4. App Sync Unified is for iOS 5, 6, and 7, and more. Turn the video. You can see this 4.2.1 4 is compatible. I'll show you AppSync Unified. I, I'd recommend it for older, like iOS 5, 6, 7. All the way from 14. That's it. Thank you guys for watching. I just showed you how to jailbreak a iPod Touch second generation. Stay tuned for the next video.